Hey guys, hope you're having a good day. It's Monday here and anybody who knows me will be aware that I've been traveling for over a month. I just got back in the middle of last week and I'm finding it quite difficult. But today is a new start because it's a new week and there's lots happening. I'm excited to talk to you about one of my new projects. Now everybody knows that I'm a huge fan of Zero, but what I'm looking at at the moment is I'm working on when zero is not suitable for your business. Now here are the five reasons that I think are genuine reasons that you might not use zero in your business. Number one, the reason being that you have no budget whatsoever. Now I know that zero is not expensive, but I also understand that sometimes you might not have a budget. You might still be at school, you might be a student and you're just trying something out and you have no money to spend on accountancy software. That's reason number one. Reason number two that I think you might not use zero in your business is if you have very few transactions. You might be a consultant. Maybe you only work for one or two businesses and maybe you only generate four sales invoices in a year and your costs are minimal as well. So if you have very few transactions, then I would say it doesn't actually make sense to think about using software like zero. In your business. Number three, and this is one that people don't really think about, but what about if your business is going to be temporary? Maybe you're only going to be in business for a year, maybe even less than a year. If you sign up to Zero, because Zero is online and it requires a subscription, if you don't subscribe to Zero, then you don't have access to your data anymore. So clearly, if you're only going to be in business for a year, what about the years after that when you still want to have access to your transactions? I would say if you know it's temporary, maybe zero is not right for you. Okay, number four, let's talk briefly about where you are in the world. Now, Zero is a global product and my understanding that it is suitable for so many countries in the world. But there is the odd location where Zero is not going to work for you. Do your homework and find out if Zero is suitable for where you are based. If it's not suitable, then you would look for another alternative. And here's the final reason I'm only going to give you five why you might not want to use zero. And it could be that it's at the very beginning of your business. You're only starting up, you've got lots to think about, and you've decided not to go for accountancy software. Now, I would say that that is acceptable, but it might be that you will change your mind in a short space of time. But at the beginning of your business, it can make sense to do something different. So the project I'm working on is what to do if zero is not suitable for your business. If you keep track of what I'm doing, you'll find something exciting happening that might help you if you're a person that has a business but is not ready for zero, not ready for online software. Watch this space. As always, if you like my videos, please let me know that you like them. And why don't you subscribe to the channel so you get notified when new videos are uploaded each week. Until next time, happy zeroing.